All right, guys, welcome back to round two here at Four Horsemen's Modern F&M in Morgantown, West Virginia. I am Daniel D'Amato. And I am Kurt and I. And we've got Dust Shadow versus Abjan Company. Oh, yeah. Who do you like in this matchup? Uh, I'm going to go with Company. You know, I think Company will pull it out. But at the same time, I think uh, Dust Shadow is just one of those decks also. I can just win out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a speed matchup. It, I mean, this is a big matchup. These are both uh, pretty pretty high top-tier decks uh, right now. Um, so Death Shadow could easily, you know, turn three, turn four, throw out a lot of damage. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, Abzan Company can throw up a lot of blockers, can stuff up the ground, and try to go infinite, and... Once, once your opponent has infinite life, what are you going to do? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, Try it out and hope they mill themselves. And Nauseam can win. <laughs> yeah. But creature decks cannot. Right. Well, yeah, because you can Laboratory Maniac with that mm -hmm. Nauseam. But, uh... Sorry, Brian is mulled down to five. Oof. And looked like he scryed and is going to keep on top. All right, so... There is a forest from Brian. He passed the turn forest back. go. No... No dorks on turn one for Brian. Might not be the best thing for him. Mm -hmm. It's not a terrible start, but... Yeah. And Jimmy Lee not on the Street Wraith. Man, you know, back when Time Spiral, when I was doing Time Spiral, like mm -hmm. I said, and, you know, I drafted a lot of Time Spiral when I was out, too, and, you know, you saw Street Wraith, they were, like, okay and limited at the time, because yeah. they had a pretty big body that you could cast for, you know, five mana, or, you know, you could cycle them. But I never saw that card. If you... If you you know, go, geez, what was it? Eight or nine years ago now when Time Sword came out? Oh, it was longer than that. I and think. said, Kurt, do you think Street Wraith is going to be a highly sought <laughs> after top played card in one of the like most popular magic formats ever? I would have been like, mm -hmm. no, what are you talking about, you crazy person? Yet here we are. <laughs> and <laughs> Dust Shadow is doing what Dust Shadow does best. Yep. And that is going to like 15 on turn one, <laughs> casting an Inquisition of Castle Luke. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, not a great start for Brian in this. Um, well, if you're Jimmy, what do you take here? Jeez. Uh, well, that, that's the Finx, right? That's the Finx with the special art. What's that white card? I can't That is it. Selfless Spirit. Is that Selfless Spirit? Yes. Okay, I thought so. Uh, Spirit, yeah. Spirit seems like a pretty good choice. Yeah. I mean, as it is right now in hand, he can't get to Finx. Um and his Vistar Seer's not really going to be doing much without him. Yeah, I don't think Seer is very relevant right yeah. now. So. There's Bobble, How's as we were talking about earlier. Himself. So check out what's coming along the way and determine yeah. whether or not he wants to fetch it away. Like, there's not a good draw, it's not worth it. Otherwise, we'll see Jimmy just uh, leave that on top. But there is a Blood Crypt Th casting Thought Seas, dropping Jimmy down to 13. Man. And James just... Picking Brian's hand apart. There goes Kitchen Fix. You know, this is probably a tough hand to beat also, even if Brian was on seven. But let alone him being on five, yeah, this is Yeah, this is, is like another one of those instances where Mulligan to five feels real bad. Yes. When your opponent against has, Death Shadow. <laughs> yeah. Just pick your hand apart and discard. And James down to ten. Fetched and shocked, it seems like. Oh, he's already killed himself half the way. Yep. So Brian doesn't have to do too much work from here. Oh, for a Death Shadow. We got a Ye Ol, uh, I believe it's a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, it'll be a 3-3 three, three right now. No. No. 6-6. Six, six. No, it's a uh, minus, it's a 13-13. It's minus 6-6 yeah. minus six, minus six, for X is your life total. So oh, should be that's, a, okay. Should be a 3-3. Three, three. I'm thinking but, from the other way, coming from 20 down, but. Oh, yeah, he traversed for Death Shadow. That's what we got here. So All we're right. going to see. I think you have to play the Death Shadow here. Oh. Yeah. Maybe Goyf. Goyf's not bad either. I think he may have a Goyf in hand. No. Is there ever is there ever a situation where Goyf is bad? Ah, uh, from a, limited from a philosophical standpoint. Oh, and limited, yeah. Limited, guess, he but. is not that great. <laughs> <laughs> that is one area where Goyf is not the best. You know, if I if I got a Goyf uh, in a pack when I was drafting, though, I'd probably take it just to have it. Oh, of course. Just <laughs> there is another traverse. For Jimmy, and you know what this duck does is get delirium really quick. Yeah. And what Traverse does is says, all right, I'm going to get Death Shadows. Yep, let me just go get all my Death Shadows. 
Yeah, the Dust Shadow is really showing the powerful, like, aspect to the deck right here. And granted, Brian is on five. Yeah. But against any on norm, like, this is still a strong showing. Oh, yeah. There's a Shocked Overgrown Tomb and another Dust Shadow, both yes. five fives. I mean, I like having ten power off of two one-mana creatures. Yeah, right? I remember the first modern game I ever played, actually, was here at the store after I had been, you know, living in Morgantown for maybe like two months by then. Mm -hmm. And I borrowed a, a, just a pretty typical Abzan deck from uh, my good buddy Ryan O'Loughlin, who mm -hmm. is on this stream quite a bit. And I ran into a Death Shadow deck my first time playing, and <laughs> I was like, what is going on? It's like, why are you killing right yourself? Now? And this is, this is, I mean, before the attacks in Pro Banning, too, so mm -hmm. this is like old Death Shadow. And man, my opponent, he, he like shocked himself down to like four life, and I was like, oh man, what am I going to do? And then I was like, oh wait, I have like three Path Exiles mm -hmm. in my hand. And a Jarmoglyph, sorry. I ended up the deck, <laughs> the deck yeah. can just lose. I yeah. mean, it's possible. Here's Scavenging Ooze. is a good card for Brian to pick yeah. up here. So that's going to draw Brian up to, I believe he he didn't fetch. He should be at, uh, looks like he's still at 20, which is fine. That dice yeah. is So I he's at he 21, cracked. yeah. I think he cracked and then, uh, and then got the life back there, it looks like. So. Yeah, so Scooze is going to help him out here. And there goes the Seer to another Thoughtseize. Going to put those. Jimmy down to six. Yeah. So, now so we, we got, got two seven sevens. sevens. This is almost a lethal attack. Yeah. And now this new version of Death Shadow, they typically still run Team or Battle Rage, don't they? At least they run one, one or two, of, yeah. Like one or two, yeah. Because I mean, uh, now what a what a dirty card for two mana. Two that card is absurd. Is. <laughs> yep, I will yeah. casually come across for fourteen. Oh, he's got it too. Does he have it in hand? He has it in hand. Oh man! All right. Well, Brian, I'm sorry, buddy. I don't think you're getting out of this one. Uh, this is exactly lethal <laughs> if Brian does not block. There it is. No blocks. I kill you. Yeah. And that is game. That is exactsies. What's he doing here? He may be able to eat. Nope. Uh, he would, I think he could potentially eat something out of the yard, but he, I don't think Brian's coming back for that. I think Brian just wanted to get the sweet pump fake in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With no hand. <laughs> so Jimmy will take game one over Brian on Abzan Company with Death Shadow. Yeah. It wasn't, I mean, hopefully uh, Brian doesn't have to mulligan anymore. And both players just keep a hand of seven, but regardless yeah. there, that was a very strong showing. Oh, definitely. I mean, I don't know if a hand gets much better than that for Death Shadow. Definitely seemed pretty solid. I know I was just talking to Sean Carroll, another big player in our store here, who played Jimmy in round one mm -hmm. uh, using his Birds in the Jar deck. Which is another pretty spicy deck. I like that deck. That one's a lot. also very, yeah. Uh, and he uh, he did not have very good luck against Death Shadow, yeah. he told me. He was. <laughs> I think that deck, while great and powerful, Death Shadow is constant hand disruption, taking your yeah. one of powerful cards and then dropping 13 13s. Yeah. I mean, Death Shadow is like, I mean, Zoo decks have been good since Kurt 8. Mm -hmm. And. People are always going to find a way to make Zoo good, uh, or some variation of Zoo. Right. They're always going to be around, and that's what this new Death Shadow is. It's like a Zoo deck on, you know, kind of steroids. You're just throwing your life total away and getting this monstrous creature for no mana practice. And that's the thing. It's like it's it's obviously like I think they support the card. I think we're gonna, oh, we're not gonna have a Splinter Twin issue where they print it in Modern Masters and then ban it. Right. I think Death Shadow's gonna be here to stay for a while. I think yeah. they like having this deck in the format. It's a very cool strategy and everything that they go about right. it. Um but I do think something is gonna get hit out of the deck. Yeah, I think sooner or later. I think it'll depend because the deck it was kind of a surprise mm -hmm. uh, at the last. What was it? GP Dallas, Vancouver. Is Vancouver. Where, okay. Where um, three of the top four were. Death yeah, Island. yeah, and it, I know that kind of like surprised a lot of people. It seemed like it kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. And the, I mean, it's a very powerful deck. It's a very consistent deck, but at the same time, it's not unbeatable. It's not one of those decks where you know you're just dead no matter. Oh, if absolutely. You're, if you're running Burn, you probably love this matchup. This is a really so Burn and Death Shadow are very yeah. interesting matchups. So because Death Shadow can apply pressure enough to kill you quickly, yeah. but Burn can also like kill you quickly. If burn you don't, can if be you're like not conservative with your life total. Burn can be like 
I'll sit on two lightning bolts until you take yourself to six for me. Exactly. And then put you away. That's so it's weird because you have to hope to like Inquisition and Thoughts use their burn spells, but essentially you're helping them at the same time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you you can Inquisition and Thoughts use against burn, but it's burn. They're always going to have burn. Exactly. No matter what you do. So, so I think Death Shadow is in a it's in a good place right now. It's in an okay place. I agree. I think if the I think if its popularity continues to go up to the point where it's really consistently dominating men as a messy man, um, if somebody takes kind of this uh, Death Shadow Zoo skeleton and figures out a way to break it even right. more, then I think we're definitely going to probably see another ban for it in the future. Yeah. Um, but it's already a pretty strong deck, so how do you how do you take a deck that's bent and break it? It can be kind of hard, but... So, I mean, I think if this deck were to lose Street Wraith, yeah. it would almost kill it, unfortunately. I think it would. I thought Gitaxian Pro Band was going to kill it. Yeah. But Street with, uh, I mean, they uh, yeah. recouped and they got... And, yeah, I don't think they want to kill it, which is why I think Bobble could get the man. Yeah. Because Bobble's easily replaceable. Right. It's just, it's nice having a utility of a zero mana, look at information, draw a card. Yeah. Yeah, the, I, I think the Bobble would probably get banned before the Street Wraith. And I agree, I, I definitely think a Street Wraith would just put Death Shadow back. Uh, it doesn't give you any instant speed draw anymore. Yeah. Because Bob, we have to wait till the next upkeep. Right, yeah. There's a little bit of a playback on there, so. Man, what if there was? And I know this I know this is coming from left field, and, and, <laughs> and this would probably, like, almost definitely never happen, but what if, what if they banned Team or Battle Rage? That'd be interesting. <laughs> um... It'd be like, no longer do you get Double Strike and Trample. You can yeah. have your Gore Clan Rampager, but that's it. Uh, looks like Jimmy has a copy of Fatal Push, a Death Shadow, a Bobble, I think one or two lands. Couldn't quite see the ones near the top there. Well, it looks like both players snap keeps. Looks like Brian is going to go down to 18. Oh, nope, he's going tapped. No turn one uh, little dude for Brian. Which I think is what company wants to do. So there's Bobble. Jimmy going to target himself here. Yep. Determine whether or not he needs to fetch now or later. I think we gotta fix Brian's life there because it looks like he stayed at 20. Well, there we go. Jimmy's down to 18 now. Yeah, Brian should be at 18. I'll have to yell at him later for not updating should his he? dice. Did he cast something on turn one? Oh, no, he didn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I did choose the wrong one. I apologize for that. That's no, that's correct. okay. So Jimmy paid to life going down to 18. Yeah. There we go. And we're gonna fetch going to 15, I'm sure. And. Oh, Jimmy's got a copy of Surgical Extraction in hand. Jimmy has Surgical Extraction. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, that is a great card to have against decks that want to combo out in any way. I uh, agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Does Brian run the uh, Anafenses as well as the the Maleras in this deck? I believe so. Okay. So, he can still do that, but he'll need to... Uh, I mean, he can get, like, a Viscerous here, or, I mean, Kitchen Finks. Just look at that. I mean, yeah, that turn one play by Jimmy. Going down to 13. Yeah. To be able to Street Wraith, Fetch, Thought yeah. Seize You. Brian's got a good hand to deal with that. Oh, Shadow. no, two, he does, two yeah. Two Path Exiles, Kitchen Finks, two Kitchen Finks, Quirk Cord, Cord. Uh, he's canopy. missing. He's missing the land that he wants. Right. To be able to, to really go off. Fetch land off the top here is really good for Brian. Takes a path... I'm surprised with the surgical extraction in hand that he wouldn't uh, grab the Finks and then just get him out of there. Yeah. Um, oh, well... That right there would technically shut down the combo. Yeah. So... And I don't think... Yeah, Brian's not running the version that uh, has um, Murder's Death Cap in it, is he? I don't think he does. I, I, think, think, he he, I think he goes for the Anaphensa Infinite Bolster. Yeah. That's a fun one. The... Uh, Murderous red cap. Oh yeah. Infinite damage. Probably about the only one of the one of the few ways to get around your opponent having infinite life. I would think so. Well let me do this and I'll just deal infinite damage to you. <laughs> so Brian's hand not looking too great with the draw of a cord off the top. Yeah. But Jimmy's got kind of a slow hand too, with surgical abrupt decay and fatal push, so he's playing more removal. I think it's a tar fire in hand too. So Jimmy's thinking about 
Yeah, that's going to be the Probably Fatal Push, I think. It, right? I know. What is it? No, it's Fatal Push. Oh, Fatal Push. Okay. Uh, the broken instant they thought we needed. Yeah. <laughs> what, what a time to be alive when Fatal Push came out. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, you remember Modern when Fatal Push came out? <laughs> yeah. so, so, Jimmy going down to 10 here. That was a card I think people just. That was one of those cards where the second it was spoiled, people just immediately. I'll take like, 12. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were like, well, we know this card's going to be good forever. Especially modern, where, you know, most of the. I mean, most of the creatures, vast majority of the creatures you see, fall under the four converted mana cost or less. Oh, yeah. A lot of them even fall under the two or less, so. That card's just absurd. It's stupid when you can go, alright, fetch, kill your four drop. Yeah. It's like a it's like the black path to exile, but a little bit better because I don't get anything for it. You so just, you just take it away. I think Jimmy's about to have a really explosive turn here. He just dropped Goy for the turn. Yeah. And I think he can fetch take three, go to seven, and drop Death Shadow. <laughs> Looks like he did go to seven. Brian's yep. helping him out with his life dice there, but he's shifting. Oh, this is Brian's deck. <laughs> oh, this is Brian's deck. This is Brian's deck. Uh, this is actually a mirror match of Brian decks. Uh. So if Jimmy gets a shock land here, which I think is what's going to happen, it goes Death Shadow. Yep. We're going to have a lot of power very fast. Yeah, so he's going to have the Death Shadow uh, on six. Six, yeah, six, six and a, I believe Goyf, we got I'm land. Not sure how big the Goyf is. Land, instant, sorcery, artifact, and creature. So yeah. we're looking at five, six, I think. They had the dice, but I don't know. They either put it off camera where we can't see it, or he's figuring it out now. Yeah, I believe it is a five, six. What it is. There we go. Yep, five six. You're right. Uh, if I'm Brian, I don't know if I can win. Like, I don't see a lot of lines here. Yeah, especially since he my is kind of locked off of lands right yeah. now too. He was in a good spot when he still had two path exiles in hand. The, yeah, <laughs> those are uh, those are no more. Yeah. Looks like he's gonna wait. He might try to just... Maybe he's going to see if he can get the... No, he's just going to go right for the path. Uh, so Brian having to lose life here, going down to... It looks like 18. Yeah. Yeah, taking care of Death Shadow is a good one. Yeah. They still got that Goyf to worry about. Yeah, Goyf is going to hit him for, unfortunately... Five, dropping him down to 13. Yeah. And what this company deck wants to do is obviously have three cards in play. And yeah. Brian currently has none. And not a lot of, yeah, like... Yeah, he's, he's not been lucky with his land drops. No, and uh, no really mana efficient game, ways so. of getting there. And I know Jimmy's got... looks like he had a tar fire in hand, so he should be able to yeah, pump just, the uh, Tarmogoyf up a little bit bigger here, at the very least. I think, uh... Oh. Jimmy may have had lethal that turn if he could have done that. Because he yeah. could have patched shock, tar fire, right. you, pump my goat to six and take... Yeah, it's yeah. just like... Looks this like deck just, can just win. Looks like Jimmy just cycled a street race, so that'll put him down to five. And his thought is going to put him down to three. Oh, man. Well, you know you're not playing against a bolt deck. Yeah. And Jimmy's saying, man, you have nothing in your hand. I have no idea what to take. <laughs> Well, Jimmy is left with what appears to be, I think, an abrupt decay. Oh, no, not an abrupt decay, but there's a tar fire. Yeah, definitely is a tar fire. Jimmy getting aggressive here going down to two. Man. Brian's not really in the range of uh, him being able to get one shot yet, either. No, not quite. I mean, he's going to dig for Death Shadow and try to have it on, uh, as an 11-11. But, yeah, Jimmy is now relatively uh, kind of in the tank if he can't pull out this one here. Right, yeah. I think he should be able to get it based off his board, but... I mean, he's still got Brian on a three-turn clock with a goy. Yeah. If That's Brian, not a bad one. If Brian can't get a land here, I think he's really going to... He's going to be in a tough spot. Yeah, yeah. five coming across. So... Brian's going to check the graveyard, make sure the power is right. So, yeah, if Jimmy goes tar fire you, that'll put Brian down to five. Because Goyf will go up to a six, seven. Yeah. Because tribal is a, is a card type. 
Oh, there's yep, a tar there fire. Mega Glitch 6 7. Then I'm going to tar fire you, Brian, going down to 11. Alright, so now all of a sudden it's a it's a one turn clock. Yep, and then Brian's going to take 6, dropping to 5. So Brian absolutely has to get a lane here and probably just play. So Kitchen, Kitchen Finks can actually win this game. Yeah. Because if Brian hits a land and goes Kitchen Finks, gain 2 life. He can block Goyf and then swing on the crackback. Yeah. And there is no land. Maybe he got a path. Well, Jimmy can't cast I that mean, He He passed. Oh! Could have dropped a four and abrupt decay, and all of a sudden... Brian can win this game out of nowhere. All of a sudden, we're at a standstill. G uh, Jimmy at two, Brian at four. Nobody really There's had... a noble! Oh, my goodness. Well, what was Jimmy's last card? He's got thoughts he's that he can't cast. And Tarfire is out of the hand. Tarfire is out of hand. I can't see what that last card is. Let's see what he drew here. There's a. Is that abrupt decay? It looks like abrupt decay. Yes, abrupt it is abrupt decay. decay. And yeah, you uh, have <laughs> you have to do that. I mean, you can't let Brian get the kitchen things in play. Brian needs to land here. Brian's doing. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, Are we gonna go to shock land? I think it's fine though. Well. Brian will have to go to one. Yeah, but Brian is is the Tarfire a one of in the Death Shadow deck? It's I think a two of. This is gonna be really good. I think so. I think what's gonna happen is Brian is gonna go down to two, go down to one, cast Kitchen Finks, go up to five, go up go to, to three. Three. He's hanging in there. This is exciting modern we have going on here. Man. This Kitchen Finks may do it. If he gets a mana that he if he gets a land he can cast. Well, it looks like Colligan's command. Not good enough to kill Brian. Yeah. But Brian cannot get greedy and cast a second Finx. Because he'll lose a life off the Horizon Canopy. Yeah. And can, Jimmy can just kill him in response. He could. And Jimmy, not really a fan of wanting to use Colligan's Command on this uh, Finx here, but he's going to have to if he yeah. doesn't want if he wants to live another turn. Yeah, this is very interesting. And this is, I mean, Jimmy, ba yeah. Jimmy basically... Killed himself, and that's what the Death Shadow does. <laughs> and there he you have himself into a corner. Huff, yeah, he's going, Huffman. You'll take two going down to one to where you can't use your yeah. canopy, and I'm going to get back my Tarmor Goyf. Yeah. So Brian needs an untapped mana source that's also green. Oh, it looks like he's pretty mad. Slamming the table. He probably drew something great. He probably drew another Kitchen Finks, and he can't cast it. Well, He's still fine. Yeah. He, Jimmy he, has to top deck a burn spell because yeah. he blocks Goyf if he wants with Finks. Go right. to two life up to three. And if Jimmy doesn't have anything, right. the two one Finks gets there. Yeah. And if he has another Finks, he can cast it because he would have a higher life total. Point. So, so Jimmy can't really attack either. Nobody knows what to do. This is great. They're looking, they're shaking their heads, they're shaking their Yeah, hands. don't tap that land, Brian. Jimmy says, I can't believe I've dealt 18. No, yep, don't, 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 don't do that. Oh, okay, oh, there you okay. go. Sack it and draw right. a card. Trying to get a land that he can cast, and I, I don't know. Looks like he's got more collected companies in hand. Did I see that right? He's got, yeah. He's just yeah. full of card tutors no that he cannot lands. cast. Well, now he, now, so, it's kind of a Mexican standoff now, because um, neither one of them can attack without just immediately getting killed. Yes. It's, uh... Quite stressful, yeah. actually. What a nail biter! Yeah, this is interesting. Hilarious that uh, Jimmy has doled out all the damage of this game. Brian has not done a single damage to Jimmy. Yeah. No. Brian has done one damage, two damage to himself, I believe, with his with one shock land with his. Horizon. And Horizon Canopies have done oh, so too, as four well. total. So yeah, Brian's, I think four total. Brian's done four to himself, but oh, oh, what does he have in hand? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, blocked it. I don't know if I agree with that to attack get the there. Because so, now Jimmy just yeah. has to kill it. Brian back up to three. Maybe he's hoping he gets a good draw and oh, he got a traverse. Oh goodness. That's gonna probably tutor up a second timer going for yeah. Yes. Unless there's something to do with it. Right. Oh no. What is that? That is Gore Clan Rampager. This oh, game is Lord. over. Yep. Unless Brian has Path to Exile, this game is over because we're going to Blood Rush this Tarmor Goyf, make it a Tim Trample. Yep. And there oh, it Eternal is. Eternal Witness. Oh, man. All the collected companies. And that is going to do it. None of the lands to play them. Yeah, the, uh, looks like the company deck there just did not want to, uh, yeah. play Magic. 
Always rough when uh, when you kind of get locked out of a game because you just don't get any lands. And that, you know, variance is part of the game. It's there by design. Absolutely. Um, it, but, you know, it is pretty rough when it happens. Though. Every... <laughs> no, yeah, I agree. It's uh, It sucks when it does happen. Yeah. But um, nothing you can do about it. It's, like I said, it's just variance of the game. You have to just play it out and see what happens. Yeah. So we have 25 minutes left in the round. Yeah. Uh, on this match, which means there's probably about 20 left oh, in, the, so. in the rest of the matches. We might be able to find another one to put right. in here. I'll see if I can't snag a game three for you guys. And uh, if not, we will be back shortly. Uh, our rounds have been finishing rather smoothly. Pretty quickly, yeah. So um, if you're just tuning in, you're watching Force One Comics and Gaming out of Morgantown, West Virginia. We are streaming Modern FNM, where you just saw a very... Exciting so, into yeah. Death Shadow versus Abzan Company <laughs> with life totals being two to three. Yeah. And uh, James and I are ultimately pulling it out by going to traverse the open wall for a Gore Clan rampager to blood rush his Tarmogoyf. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> but you guys just hang tight. We'll see if we can't get a match for you guys, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 